Where did ha when did you start having kids? Was that like a conscious decision that you wanted to do? Like <laughs> Back then without birth control? Are you yeah, out of your mind? Please. <laughs> no, it was like, hey, that's what happens. Oh, really? Uh, I didn't even hear about birth control until after Whedon was born. Seriously. And, um, you know, that's why they're so close together. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, Shane was a conscious decision. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, it was just, you know, that's what happened. We got together, you know, couldn't stay away from each other, and that's, that's what happened. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know whereas the rats for me was a little bit, because um, the kids were still pretty young, was, uh, it was just conflicting. You know, yeah. I want people to... pulling me in every which direction. You know, as a woman, you know, it's just that's our lot in life. What can I say? <laughs> and he was getting pretty sick of you know because we you know get the kids off to school, go in and work till you know six or seven, come home, fix dinner, get the kids settled in. Usually, go and drive all the way back downtown to rehearse. You know, and six days a week. <laughs> I was like, ah. Were your, were your kids more? like okay with your lives as musicians after the rats and when you're doing Dead Moon? Because I know you said... Mm, you know, Whedon's really the only one that was super involved yeah. with what we were ever doing in, in music. Um, you know, um, I don't think Shane understands it at all. <laughs> He's very straight. He works for the IRS, by the way. Um, so, um, which, is, which is wonderful. I, I love that your kids can have their own individual things going on and it has nothing to do with you. That's the way it should be. And um, Amanda really loves our accomplishments and what we've done. And um, she loves to get up and sing every once in a while herself. Um, so she, you know, is very supportive of it, um, but hasn't really been involved like that, you know. Yeah. I think I kind of was... Um, always the one people could relate to the most. If they were going to have a kid, like I, I still, one of my favorite moments is uh, we had played a show, I think it was as Pierce Darrow's later. Um, we had a show up in Seattle in this dinky little club called The Fun House. And Eddie Vedder's happened to be home or in town. And he came in and I'm the one that he had to tell. His, Olivia had just been born and he had a daughter. That was my my role to people, you know. I was the the mom, <laughs> the best friend, the confidant. The you know. I think moms do this thing where they they really know if you seriously are truly in love with someone, and that's kind of all they really want for any of your kids is to be that happy. Mm -hmm.